everybody. It's Kelly Russell, the Rock Your Joy Coach. Thank you so much for being with me today. Welcome to my channel. So my topic for this week is staying gold. You know, I went to this uh, amazing performance in Boston over the weekend, and it was called the Gold Over America Tour. And it featured Simone Biles, the most decorated female gymnast uh, in history. And her Tokyo uh, Olympic teammates. And it was a performance, it was not a competition. It was a performance just simply for joy and love of the sport of gymnastics. And it was is so uplifting and it was gorgeous and amazing and you know, I, I love gymnastics anyway. I did uh, I did what we used to call acrobatics when I was a kid. And there were all these little girls there, all these little gymna gymnasts in the audience. And, you know, I just, it was, I was surrounded by this feeling of just using the body in a way that brings joy and so I loved that part of the message too. I mean, you know, yes, I'm not a body. You're not a body. I understand that. And that's a, a powerful message in the Course of Miracles that we are not a body. And, and while that is absolutely true in this dream of the world that we're having, where we believe we are bodies, why not celebrate using the body in a way that brings joy or brings pleasure or is fun or shows what it is capable of doing. And so, so I love watching things that, uh, that celebrate that, you know, and gymnastics is, and obviously the entire Olympics is really about that. And, and I don't have any quarrel with the Olympics. I, I love watching the games. Certainly it's a, it's an, an ancient, uh, part of our culture, but you know the 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 difficulty is for me is in the competition and it is in the the pressure that the athletes feel and I know that they they do it of their own choice and it's great and whatever but I I loved watching this performance where they were just simply performing gymnastic routines and feats and they were all doing it together they were all interacting together there were they were doing different things on on the floor to music it was choreographed and doing crazy things on the the parallel bars and the balance beams and and it was it was just amazing to watch and the the message was so powerful because the message was stay golden and what does it mean to be golden? And what it means to be golden is that you, that you stand in your truth. It means that you love yourself, that you honor yourself. It means that you, that you have the courage to stand up for yourself and that you have, that you have confidence and that you own your beauty and that, so all of that is such a great message and, and it's what we all need to do. We all need to own our beauty. We all need to, to understand that we are golden, that that is our legacy, that we are pure, innocent, gorgeous, shimmering, sparkling light, that we are the light of God expressing in this dream of the world, that if, if you cut me, I bleed light. You your breath carries sparkling light on it, that it shines from your eyes. It shimmers around you. It beams from your heart space across the universe and connecting all of us as brothers, all of us as one, all of us as gorgeous golden light. And that that is the truth of who we are. And so it's a, it's a wonderful message and it is, it is what I want you to remember this week. I want you to take that in and to reclaim your beauty and your truth as golden. You know, there's a beautiful part of A Course in Miracles. It's from chapter 21, part one, The Forgotten Song. 
and it's paragraph eight that describes the truth of us in this in this golden way beyond the body beyond the sun and stars past everything you see and yet somehow familiar is an arc of golden light that stretches as you look into a great and shining circle and all the circle fills with light before your eyes the edges of the circle disappear and what is in it no longer contained at all the light expands and covers everything extending to infinity forever shining and with no break or limit anywhere within it everything is joined in perfect continuity nor is it possible to imagine that anything could be outside for there is nowhere that this light is not this is the vision of the son of god whom you know well because it's you here is the sight of him who knows his father here is the memory of what you are a part of this with all of it within and joined to all as surely as all is joined in you accept the vision that can show you this and not the body you know that is who you are that is who i am and that is it's it's who it's the truth of us as extensions of god and so when you know that that is the truth of you and when you really are able to identify with that when you undo your ego mind when you uh, are able to see your brother as the same as yourself you're able to see that light in your brother you're able to see their innocence and see your own reflected in theirs when you're able to believe for them the love that is who they are during the times when they can't see it or believe it for themselves, when you're able to forgive yourself for dreaming the illusion of the world instead of seeing and remembering what the truth is, that you are pure light. When you're able to do that, that's what enlightenment is. That's where we're all going. We're just waking up to the truth of the light and the love that we are. And so that's just my message for you this week. That's, that's your homework, to remember the light of your innocence, to remember your wholeness, to remember that there is no darkness in you, that anything that you see in a brother or within yourself that is anything other than pure, gorgeous, shimmering love, is just fucking fake and that the love and the light of God is the same as the love and the light of you it's who you are so thank you so much for joining me today thank you for being here I, I just love spending this time with you and if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel and you like this video please click the button below and do so i'm here every week talking about the practical application of a course in miracles and if you'd like to go deeper with making your life miraculous uh, with the application of a course in miracles you might consider coaching with me and if you'd like to do that you can click the button below and book a free discovery call with me which is a coaching session in itself to find out about how i work so thanks again for being here and I'll see you next week. Stay gold.